Hello and welcome back to another episode review of Hollyoaks. My name is Jay and it gives me great pleasure in giving you guys another review. And this review is for the 19th of August 2021. Let's get to it. In the beginning of the episode, we saw Sienna was actually drugged by Summer. And the previous episode, I think we saw... um, they were both having some sort of indoor picnic slash romance, whatever you guys want to call it. They were playing, I think, a bit of a mind game. Sienna was trying to get at something. Unfortunately, Summer was just too clever for that and she was one step ahead again. So the aftermath of this episode, we saw Summer already spiking Sienna's coffee and Sienna got up feeling drowsy and woozy and so much letting her know what she's up to she knows what Sienna's up to and uh, I think the again I did not spot that coming even though it's typical or it should be typical of summer uh, it's it's just something um, I did not see coming see coming at all uh and she's doing a very good job in keeping her character, this evil character that's got literally no limits, nothing that can stop her. Not even Sienna with her years of experience of scheming and manipulating, which obviously now she's a reformed character. But the point is, Sienna's experience still could not take Summer on. So, later on, we saw Summer Dragon. Well, we didn't see Summer Dragon, but Sienna just happened to end up in Warren's garage. Summer took her there, and I think she took her there to basically finish her off. All of a sudden, Liberty came out of nowhere and knocked her over with some massive petrol can, I believe. Um, my surprise was when Summer got back up and uh, grabbed a pole to knock, you know, Liberty down again. Um, I just thought Summer was completely unconscious, but I like that twist where she's got back up. Slightly realistic as well. I mean, it's only Liberty just knocked her over with a can only, um... I think as a viewer, that created a lot of engagement, a little, uh, a little bit of a scare factor to the viewers as well. And I think that uh, the Hollyoaks writers have done that very well, or the directors. And, of, you know, the gun luckily was next to Liberty. She had no choice but to pull that trigger. I couldn't work out where the bullet hit Summer, but I, I'm i guessing probably on a limb, like, like, a, like a legs or something. Because originally when Liberty took a shot, I thought she shot Summer in the stomach and that would have, you know, finished her. You know, late, later, after that scene, uh, Sienna and Liberty, they came out of the garage outside, they're sitting down. You know, Liberty's frantically worried that she's killed Summer. Now, normally, being locked up for months by this evil, wicked woman, and she was just about to kill your sister and until you stepped in, anyone else would have not not given not given any um any care to that. You know, if anything, they would have said good riddance. Um. Just shows you Liberty's um, a character that's got a very big heart. And she's very caring. Doesn't matter um, who it is and what they've done to her. Which really I applaud of Liberty. Um, I do think maybe they could have built more suspense. If we saw... Liberty escaping um, earlier, where Cindy, you know, Cindy has did mention she helped, and we saw her in the early episode where she found the details of the lockup garage, and 
that would have built suspense like oh can can liberty make it in time to save summer sorry sienna keep getting summer and sienna confused because they're quite similar anyway but i think Hollyoaks wanted to add that shocking factor where you know where we didn't see liberty escaping as viewers we would have um we would have we were waiting for sienna to kind of tie summer up and everything can keep her at bay so they can go and rescue liberty but it was actually the other way around thanks to cindy and you know um when they were outside whilst they thinking that summer is dead inside Damo went to check on the pulse no pulse there and they're waiting for the ambulance and they just found out that cindy's the one that helped her and you know cindy's obviously gave an explanation i guess cindy's a businesswoman so she knows all about invoices and such so she's she's managed to take that risk as well and break into someone's flat get their dress and rescue liberty i actually think there might be it might be a good development to the cast uh, slash story storyline if Cindy happened to become good friends with Liberty and Sienna, so the sisters. I think that would actually uh, be a good friendship and can bring more storylines. And obviously, had Brody on the other hand, he still got handcuffs on him um, earlier. You know, um, Summer got him handcuffed by the policewoman. Um, again, there was another trick that Summer's done. Um, but thanks to uh, Damon's brother Scott, uh, he was distracting the police and Brody managed to get away. But he's just got the cuffs around him. But because of Liberty's out, she can explain everything and hopefully Brody's cuffs will be off. And just Brody is actually concerned that Summer's dead. Um, and it just shows him and Liberty, their qualities are very alike. And because they're both worried that she's killed, even though she's such a wicked character, they still care uh, about the death of someone. Doesn't matter who it is. And, you know, because it's just not in them. And, you know, the characters are really, you know, admirable on, on that. And um, other, obviously, in, in the end, we did see Summer escaping that somehow. I don't know, but she was hiding behind some, uh, I don't know, some sort of unit. I uh, don't know if it's a little storage unit or bin unit. I don't know what that is. But that was scary because imagine she's got a gun, she could fire at anyone. So that wasn't clear. We'll see in the next episode. But I have a feeling she might disappear for a few months and make another entrance. I don't know what's going to happen, but it'll be very interesting to see. Earlier on the episode, we saw um, Maxine and Warren uh, business. Uh, so Maxine offered to help with the... Uh, filing or numbering, doing some accounts business or something um, offered to Warren. I think Warren laughed it off and Maxine got offended. They had a little bit of a, you know, a, a waffle over that. Um, I think Maxine just wants to prove that, you know, she's she, she wants to be seen more than just a, a woman. Um, she, you know, she's capable of doing so many things. And I agree, um, you know, we shouldn't, doesn't matter what gender you are, we're all equal and shouldn't make a stereotype. And in we did, you know, and thanks to Maxine, she's kind of seen the this discovery of the Bluebird business that she's found in the, some of the paperwork. And I think that might be the starting of the development of the, you know, discovering the um oh, bluebird and fergus's dodgy business i'm not even sure i don't think warren is easy even aware of bluebird now you know she's told trish that i don't think trish even cares trish just you know trish is maxine's mum most of you guys are aware of that 
but I don't think she cares, to be honest. Uh, Trish just, you know, she just seems like as long as the money's coming in from somewhere, wherever her partner's bringing it in from, then she doesn't have an issue wherever it comes from. And that gives her to focus on the dance school. And um, she, on speaking of her dance school, her she managed to arrange a live Northwest News kind of channel to give her a broadcast, give her a bit of a platform for her school. And she had Kathleen Angel ready to dance. And of course, even though she told Leah to back off earlier, Leah still managed to came in and start dancing in mid-air, live broadcast. She tripped over and again sprained her ankle or something. I don't forget it was early. She injured that a month earlier as well. Trish was livid. And obviously the way she was, you know, uh, screaming, not screaming, but, um, just kind of losing it under her breath. And the news reporter was even like, well, are you sure she's, are you sure she's okay? And then it's just that the way Trish is acting to face, uh, very nice in front of the public and the camera, but then, you know, really having a go at Leah. I'm not sure what the bias is. I don't know why she has such a thing against Leah. I still haven't quite figured it out. And I don't, honestly, I don't know yet. You know, I'm quite, buff uh, you know, buff buffuffled over that, if that's even a word. Um, I don't know if we're going to see anything develop. She just seems to have a massive problem with Leon, And then she's completely fine with Kathleen Lane, Kathleen Angel. So that does not make sense to me. What do you guys think, honestly? I don't know. I don't know why. Um... And she, I do think Trish needs to get caught early as well because she's, it's almost to the point where she's kind of mentally affecting children and it's deliberate and uh, it's not on, I know, unfortunately. It's, um, I think Leah should just kind of tell everyone what Trish is up to, but then again, don't forget it's all part of the, um, I guess in a way it's abuse because it's, it's a form of um, manipulation. Um, so Leah doesn't know what to do and she probably thinks Trish does care about her because it's all manipulative. Anyway, guys, I want to end it here. That's the end of the review. Um, let me know, guys, know what you think. Comment below, subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys stay safe. Peace.